Houston, we have a problem. Something I've been noticing recently is on my 9.8 dropper, uh, the air pressure in the, uh, in the dropper post actually has been decreasing or the dropper will not fully return uh, on its own. So hopefully this uh, Fox transfer will do the job until I can either get it fixed or send it back. So uh, I'm gonna compare the Fox transfer 150 millimeter post with the 9.8 post. Uh, weight, size, those types of things too before I install it. So I'll take you through all of that. All right, so this is the Fox Performance um, transfer post. As you can see here, it's um, 150 millimeter travel. So it's a similar travel, it's the same travel as the 9.8 fall line dropper post that I currently have. Um, it's cable actuated and it's got a nitrogen charge and hydraulic um, internals that uh, which is a little bit different than the 9.8 so I'm just going to try this out while I'm uh, servicing the 9.8 and see how it works for me you can see it's a 31.6 diameter um, and uh, it's kind of got some neat markings on it it says transfer down here instead of increments of, of millimeters or centimeters uh, so that's pretty cool but yeah I'm gonna give this a try but um, we're gonna we're gonna weigh this um, as opposed to the uh, to the 9.8 dropper two, just to see how they compare, um, and um, we'll put this on. Hopefully, I won't have to rerun the cable housing, but I may, depending on the length. Um, so I'll compare the length of these as well. But um, I definitely will have to run a new shifter cable um, because the um, the connector on the bottom of the uh, Fox transfer uh, requires the uh, the barrel on the end of the cable. And then they have this adapter too that goes in on top of the barrel that kind of sits in this um, trigger mechanism down here. All right, so first I'm going to do the seat. Let's remove it from the, we'll remove our seat post from the bike. All right, so I'm gonna remove the seat post collar. Just, uh... All right, I'm going to remove the uh, attachment mechanism for the 9.8, and it starts by removing these pinch screws. I'm going to pull this cable out and remove this piece and remove my bottom screw-in piece from, uh, from this particular cable housing, and then um, we'll test and see if our cable housing is going to be long enough for the Fox transfer. All right, so on my... 9.8 remote. I'm just going to remove the pinch bolt here and then I can just, I'm not going to remove the uh, the end off of this cable yet. I'm just going to pull it out for now. So I should give this a tug. This just screws off the cable housing. You just grab it and it screws right off and you have this piece and the outer sheathing piece which comes off as well. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, so this is the Fox transfer, this is the 9.8. I'm going to put about 28 pounds of air pressure or PSI in the 9.8, which is typically about what I ride with. Um, the Fox transfer is a kind of zero touch install. Everything's kind of built in. I'm going to prep the 9.8 so it would be the exact weight that it would be if I was riding the bike, including the bits that go on the bottom as well um, because that will give us an accurate uh, in tube or seat tube insertion length and a more accurate weight because the Fox transfer uh, attachment points are built into the bottom. So um, once I put the air pressure in I'll, I'll screw these back in and then we'll take some length measurements and then we'll do some weight measurements. All right so I'm going to remove the Schrader valve cap and the top of the 9.8 attach my shock pump alright so we're currently at about 11 psi so I'm going to go up to about 28 it definitely uh, takes a little bit for the air to permeate through the membrane there so, so it looks like we're pretty good 
at 28 there pretty holding pretty steady so both uh, both droppers have their um, extension bits or their attachment points equal to the ledge of the table and there you can see the difference between the two press the heads down so for the fox we're looking at about somewhere around 49 centimeters and then for this is remember this is with the head and for the 9.8 it's around 47 centimeters so there's about a uh, two centimeter difference between the length, not too much. All right, so let's take a uh, weight measurement of our Fox dropper post. It has the, all the seat bits and everything here. So we'll just take a weight on our uh, table scale here. So we're at 591 grams, 20.85 ounces. So 591 grams for the Fox transfer post. Now let's do the 9.8 fall line. I've got all the bits screwed in the end, so it should be pretty uh, pretty fair comparison here for weight. So, so 529 grams uh, for the the 9.8 fall line, 591 for the uh, Fox transfer. So there's what about a 62 gram difference between those two fault line wins out on weight it wins out on length uh, it wins out on being user serviceable um, it wins out on having what I think is the best head design with this twi twin wet rail and it's done like that so you can access the Schrader valve but it's still a cool way to mount the seat um, and I like it versus the the two bolt mount and somehow they've seemed to, to manage to keep the weight even lower so um, now that doesn't mean that I'm calling 9.8 better than Fox transfer at this point. Obviously, rideability, um, consistency, and how the seat goes up and down, and then you know more of a long-term consistency thing and reliability. I am having problems with air leaks in this one, which was kind of a known issue from from 9.8, and they redesigned um, one of the seals that goes uh, around the uh, the top there. So they're you know under warranty. They're going to send me a replacement. Um, seal and I chose to do a self-service option, so I'm going to take it apart and rebuild it. Um, but that's why I like this post. Um, Fox, you pretty much, it has a nitrogen charge in it and you have to either go to a bike shop or send it back to Fox for repair. So I like being able to work on you know, my own stuff. So there's your weight comparison. And so we have our housing there. So I'm going to, I'm going to try, I'm going to put a ferrule on the end of this. I'm going to feed a cable through. Um, and see if this cable housing is actually long enough with the with the fox. I think it is because the fox is actually a little bit longer. Um, so if it, anything, it may be too long. So we'll give that a shot. So there we have it. All right, I'm gonna put our ferrule on the cable housing. So I'm gonna slip that ferrule over. And then we need to insert our little adapter. And so basically the head of the the shifter cable seats right into the adapter there and it sits flat so we'll run this through and pull it all the way to the barrel and it just it seats right in there it sits flush and then we're gonna run our cable through the posts through the cable housing and it should come out shifter all right we're gonna get our mechanism there's a nice little slit there that the cable fits through so we can fit that in make sure and you can use this lever here to, to do that and so what you end up with is that and we'll give us a tug on the Then we'll give a tug on the cable housing as well and we'll insert the full post in there and see if I've got the right uh, length of uh, housing and, and cable. Then we'll trim it. We'll uh, install the remote and trim it. Alright, I slid the post down and I'm just going to tighten the uh, pinch bolt for the cable and then give it a test.
And there we go. I tighten and get this a little bit more level to my liking. We have our dropper installed. And I'll tell you two things right away that really kind of bother me about this seat post. First is the noise it makes when it pops back up. It's more of a clang. I'm used to more of a thud from the 9.8. And then also something I see in a lot of dropper posts, especially with this type of design, is the, the top tube actually spins a little bit. You can see how much I can this seat side to side, this side to side play here. Um, for some reason I don't like that and it's the whole kind of shaft here spinning and um, you don't have that with the 9.8 so it's going to be interesting to see how this thing fares um, I'm kind of curious to see how it uh, rides comparatively I'm just not used to that clank alright so I just went to the fact on 9.8 site basically what it's saying is, is if you believe you have an air leak first step is to locate the leak start by compressing the post down to roughly one inch and removing and removing the post from your bike. Next, pump your post up to approximately 100 psi and fully submerge it in a bucket of water. If there are any leaks, they should present themselves now. Keep track of any bubbles you see and contact support at 9.8ca.ca with your findings. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do next. Um, I already have the seat post off, so I'm going to I'm going to put the bottom on my foot and compress it by hand, and then we'll pump it up to 100 psi and drop it in the sink and take some video first. We've got to pump it up to 100 PSI, and then we can put it in the sink. So let's see here. Ninety-one, probably a little bit less. All right, so right now we're at 98.5. Now we're at. 100. We'll let it sit here so let the air permeate through the, the membrane there and see what happens when we eat, submerge this baby. Right. I'm going to throw the Schrader cap back on before I submerge it, keep the water out of the valve maybe. All right, we have our sink full of water, and I'm just going to submerge the post, and we'll see what happens. I mean, right away it's bubbling. Big time, which is what I expect. It's a, th there's got to be some kind of seal busted in there or something, because that's a lot. That's a super amount of bubbles coming out here. Let's see. Focus in a little bit. Just coming out around the seal. All right, I'm gonna let this run for a minute or so just to get enough footage to send a 9.8, and I think we'll be good. All right, so I did um, send an email to 9.8 last night before I went to bed and uh, attached the video of the uh, air leaks um, of the post, and he got back to me really early this morning, actually before 9 a.m. Eastern. I think we're in pretty similar time zones. Uh, I think maybe they're either in Eastern or Central up in Canada. Uh, I'm in Eastern, so they got back to me really quick and asked me, um, they said, yeah, obviously it's an air leak. We'll replace it under warranty. We've got two options. You can either send it back to us and we'll repair it, or you can do it yourself. We'll just send you the kit. So I opted for them to send me the kit. That's one reason I bought this 9.8 dropper post is because it's user serviceable and you can change out the internals. You can you can do it yourself. You don't need a, a, a whole lot of specialty tools. There is a brake uh, tool that they will send, but um, uh, you know it kind of it kind of wins out in that category over most dropper posts at this point in time. Also, if you um, like the video content, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, make a comment, good or bad, uh, just let me know you're there. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, share the video. That'll do it for this video. You guys know what to do. Skill up and ride.